Hello everyone, hope you have covered the previous videos in this series and I hope you have some idea about Ansible uh, components and in this video we are going to talk about handlers in Ansible. So if you have, um, if you miss any of the videos in the series, please uh, check the video, YouTube video playlist and you will find all the videos inside that. So what is Ansible handlers? Uh, Ansible handlers are tasks that respond to a notification uh, triggered by other tasks. Tasks uh, only notify their handlers when the task changes something on a managed host. That means if there is a if there is there are some changes, then only the handlers will be triggered. So we will uh, go through the demo and we will learn how to write uh, and handlers and how to use handlers in Ansible. So uh, the important things is like uh, when you define uh, handlers, the handler name should be unique and um, you can use it for any task like uh, restarting H Nginx service or restarting database service or something you want to message like that. So there are a few things to note here. So handlers always run in the order specified by the handler section of the play. So let's say if you have the playbook and inside the playbook you have a section called handlers. So they do not uh, run in the order in which they are listed by uh, notify statements in a task. So if you call the notify uh, handler, then it will execute at the end of the play. It won't execute suddenly. So uh, please note that on that one. Then uh, handlers are normally uh, run after all the tasks in the play complete as I explained earlier. So a handler called by a task in the task uh, part of the playbook will not run until all of the tasks under the task have been processed. Maybe you are confused already. I will explain in detail uh, using the playbook. So th I'm just going through the theory first. So uh, there are some minor exceptions that, like uh, you can trigger uh, based on the requirement. Uh, we will go through that one. Then. Um, Handler names uh, exist in the global namespace. So if two handlers are incorrectly given the same name, only one will run. Please remember that. So the name should be uh, unique. Then uh, even if more than one task notifies a handler, let's say you have a handler called uh, restart nginx or restart database. Uh, even you call this multiple times, the handler will run only once. If no task notify, a handler will not run. So uh, under the handle, maybe you have 10 and you notify only one or two, means it's only the handler you notified will be executed. So, so please remember that. If a task that includes a notify statement uh, does not report a change result, for example, a package is already installed and a task reports OK, the handler is not notified. The handler is skipped unless another task notified. Okay. Uh, Ansible notify handlers only if the task reports the change status. So if the package already there means even you notify the, uh, the handler, it won't happen because the package, uh, the, 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 the result of the task is not change status. It's just okay. It means package already there. Okay. Uh, we will uh, check that in the upcoming uh, demo. We have all the, all the playbooks, uh, samples, all the commands, everything we keep inside this git repository so you can always refer back to this uh, repository if you are uh, facing any issue any difficulty to execute the playbook or the playbook is not correct of course you can refer this but i will recommend to do it by your own instead of uh, referring the playbook directly so if you have any issue refer the playbook and yeah change it so we have to learn how handlers are working and we are going to test it so we have this uh, repository day24 handler and inside that we have uh, same ansible.cfc file and also we have a inventory it's the same inventory with the two nodes and yeah we already tested it and we have uh, a playbook already here this is the same playbook you have created or we have created during our uh, playbook uh, video so if you check we have few tasks to install httpd then we run firewall d uh, sorry we enable firewall d then we permit the ports yeah http enabled and running uh, yeah a few things so what we are going to do is uh, very simple we will convert this playbook to use handlers 
because here if we want if you check there are few items we want to run multiple times so what we can do in site.yml so i want to move my nginx service uh, to be restarted only when there is a change in the configuration something like that so i'm going uh, uh, what i'm doing is very simple so from here one two three four five five i am moving to a location here and this is a uh, handler so if you check all these are under task session so handler also task but we have to put in a separate uh, section called handler okay so we have task then we have handlers Okay, please remember the task and uh, handlers are in the same uh, position. If you check, okay. So under handler, uh, the name is enable HTTP and running. So what I have to do is like um, I will use something like uh, uh, restart HTTP. So it will be ac because i already mentioned the name should be unique and uh, i will put it like uh, state equal to started i put like a state equal to restarted and service is httpd enable is true it's okay i will keep it there then i will show you the first case okay uh, so we have uh, edited the playbook and we have moved the restart a service to a section called handler now we have to test it so ansible <coughs> sorry playbook site.yml so it's running on node 2 we can run it on any nodes so okay good but if you check you can see the restarting is not executed because uh, we didn't notify the handler so this is the first one of the scenario i mentioned if none of the tasks are Notifying the handler, the handler will not be executed. Okay, now what you will do, vim, yml, then I want to execute the task from here. So after the m installed, I want to execute the task. So I would, okay, notify, sorry, it's not here, notify. I want to notify the handler. So once installed, I need to restart the HTTPD. So how to do that? So we can simply do notify. If I have multiple handler, I can put like uh, notify, then I put here. So if I have only one, I can put directly here. So here I am putting like restart HTTPD. So just check the handler name again. Restart HTTPD. Okay, so we are telling the task like once this task is completed, okay, uh, just notify this handler and yeah, execute it. So what I will do instead of node two, I'm going to run it on node nodes. Okay, I'm going to run it on both nodes. Execute it again. Okay, node one, node two. So it's installing packages. Okay, you can see this running handler on node 1 why because node 2 is okay uh, this is the one of the another, one of the case i mentioned if the status is okay means no nothing changed it will not notify so in our case node 2 was executed already and nothing changed the package is already there so this is a task we have uh, informed to call the handler so here node 2 is okay means nothing changed so it will not call the handler to restart the httpd service so in not one case nothing was there is changed something installed so it will or it will of course call the handler and yeah the handler will change so handler you know it's just restarting the httpd okay so if i execute again uh, let's execute again we will see if the handler will be executed or not okay so now if you check 
both nodes are okay nothing changed so what will happen handler will not be executed if you check no the handler is not executed okay so this is the basic one for handler uh, we will uh, explore more okay now i have a scenario because uh, after uh, installing okay of course i need to start or restart the httpd but i need to start this uh, restart the httpd maybe i have some configuration change here somewhere and usually you don't, you don't need to restart httpd what you can copy the file but i uh, just want to uh, show you so here i am uh, notifying the handler again notify handler restart httpd so i have two notifications to the httpd restart handler one is after the installation and one after the html page installed okay this is not re really required i'm just uh, doing this for demo purpose only so we have two notifications and we will see what will happen okay so install http and firewall of course it's okay nothing changed handler will not be notified but uh, you check again the test html also is there already because uh, it's already installed on node 1 and node 2 so you can see handler is not notified now we will try once again i'm going to remove the html from here so this is my node 1 so cd what what html so I have this uh, HTML file, sudo. Okay, I have removed this, means on node one, there is no HTML file. So this task should be executed. Instead of okay, it should be changed. So I am executing again, we will see. Okay, now you see the HTML page installation uh, the task is there is a status changed in the node one of course the handler will be executed okay now we will try one more case uh, okay i will remove it again then what i will do uh, we will remove the httpd sudo uh, yum remove httpd sorry so i have removed httpd from node one and uh, also there is no uh, in the source HTML, so there will be two tasks. So if you check, uh, it should run uh, from here because node one there is no HTTP installed and no in the HTML. We will see how. So we are executing the same playbook again. So install HTTP node two is okay, means it will not notify the handler. Yes, node one is changed, so it should execute. It should call the handler but uh, in the test.html page of course it's changed so there are two notification to the handler but if you check handler is executed only once this is the uh, another scenario i mentioned even you call the handler one two three or multiple times handler will be executed only once and that too only at the end of the play this is another play please remember that this is another play not the Task. so we have another play and for testing the site so in this case uh, maybe I will show you the playbook sorry so here you can see this is one of the play and it will be executed at the end of the task so the end of the play so even you call this handler on the first task third task second task it will be executed only once and that too are uh, only at the end of the play so this is another play and uh, don't confuse with that one okay so this is handler so handlers are very useful uh, like if you want to execute some of some tasks uh, uh, two or three times but still uh, you you want to run it only once something like that so it's very easy to handle instead of you put the restart several times in the task you can put handler uh, the task under the handler and call once or twice or multiple times so handler will be executed in a proper way by ansible okay so this is handler i think uh, that's all actually is very a very, very simple topic if you have any questions or some doubts uh, please ask in the comment box i will try my best to answer those and uh, uh, you can find all other videos um, in the playlist 
and please uh, remember to subscribe to this youtube channel to get all the latest videos uh, thank you for watching see you next time with another video